array. An array is a data structure that stores a collection of elements that are of the same memory size and are stored in contiguous block of memory. So there are two points to note here, two specialities of arrays that help you for easy access. First thing is that they are all having the same memory size. Every single element in the array will be of the same memory size. And the second thing that all these elements are always stored in contiguous block of memory. What does that mean? There will be first element of the size, there will be second element of the same size, third element of the same size and all these will be stored in contiguous block of memory one after the other. So what, how can you visualize this array? Maybe you can visualize it as let's say a, a cupboard or an Elmira in which all the shelves are of the same size and you are supposed to keep items of the same type in all of it. So let us say you have a cupboard like this, a lot of shelves but all the shelves are of the same size and you are supposed to keep the same type of item in each of those. This is how you can imagine an array. Or maybe an even better example is a bookshelf. Let's say you have a bookshelf, a horizontal one. How do you keep books in the first book is here, second book is here, third one, fourth one and so on. So what is the advantage now? You can directly access any of these books. Let's say you want to take this book. So you can directly come and take this book because all the books are directly accessible. And coming to array, how, how is it possible that you are able to directly access an element? Let's understand this. So what do you have? You have the memory address of the first point that is the starting point. Then you know that each of the element is of some particular size. Let us say you are having integer which is of 2 bytes. So you know each element is of 2 byte size and they are stored in contiguous block of memory. So if the memory address of let's say first one is 1000, from 1000 you can add 2 bytes, 2 bytes and reach next, next, next element and so on. So this is how you can access any element in an array directly. So efficient access in mem uh, array is possible because of two things. One is that all the elements are of the same memory size and second thing is that they are always stored in contiguous memory locations. So these two qualities are what helps you in efficient access. So a few properties of the arrays. First thing you know it is fixed size and the second thing is that all elements are of the same time same type or you can say they are homogeneous all are of the same type the third one is indexed access what is indexed access yes let's say you are indexing them as 0 1 2 3 4 etc if you want directly the fourth element you can directly access fourth element this is called indexed access whichever is the index that you want to access you can directly access that and uh, another one is efficient random access so uh, arrays, uh, this is a single dimensional array. Array can be multidimensional. How can it be multidimensional? Let us, I'm having a, a two, two dimensional array. So it will look like this, okay? So it will have elements horizontally as well as vertically. This is a two dimensional array. If I add one more dimension like this, it will become three dimensional array, okay? So that is how it goes. And what are the applications of array? Where do you use these arrays? So first thing is obviously for storing data, whenever you want to store data, you use arrays. And one more thing is many of the other data structures that you see, they are implemented using arrays. So arrays also function as uh, a foundation, a foundation for implementing other data structures. So this is one speciality of arrays. So uh, before we conclude this lecture, one simple example that is if there is a cricket match going on let's say and you want to store the scores of all the players so in a team you know there will be 11 players so what will you do you will name them as 0 1 2 3 4 and so on and if you have the first batsman you will say uh, uh, instead of 0 1 2 3 let's say uh, start from 1 itself up to up to let's say 11 so if you want to see uh, what is the score of number three batsman, you directly see the number three block. Let's say the score is 51. 
so you can directly access number three block and uh, insert 51 there or read 51 from the whatever so uh, one thing is what are the common operations that you do in array so one is traversal what is traversal you can go through the array from one side to the other this is called traversal the second one is insertion that is if you want to insert any particular element let let us say i want to insert the score of the fifth batsman so in the uh, block corresponding to five I'll insert the score. Maybe the score is 37. So I can insert it though. This is insertion. The next one is deletion. If I want to delete any entry off, I can directly access that and delete that entry out. This is called deletion. And the last one, it is search. That is if you want to search for some particular uh, batsman. Let us say you want to check what is the score of number four batsman. So you can directly come to fourth block and see what is the score. So this is, uh, these are the basic operations in array. Uh, first one is traversal, other one is insertion, deletion, search. So let us see how these operations are done, what are the time and space complexities.